Hey, I warmly welcome you all in new phase of learning and this time we were going to discuss on the eve of independence and in the pandemic covid-19 India emerged out as the global manufacturing hub as an alternative of China's economy but the picture was totally reciprocal when it was on the eve of independence India marks its presence in industrial sector today but in the 1947 on independence eve india marks a handicraft industry decay or fading away in international market where it has the identity due to the loss of princely courts lost kingdoms and empires end resulted the british rule flourishment in india so here we will discuss this phase of india so warmly welcome you all a new phase and hereby we will going to start discussing on the eve of independence independence where india marks its identity and the identity says indian industry during british rule faced a decline and this decline means a stand still and stagnant backward economy where india is a prime contributor of of its talent in handicraft industry traditional cultural heritage have lost its identity in handicraft and artisan work as british rule introduced modern machinery and this called the man made product to an end for the machine made product local talent lost its identity in international market due to the high taxes levied on it and it became costly and this costly cost raises the low demand and this leads to decline in handicraft industry against low cost high quality products from britain lost its domestic market as well on the eve of independence indian bleak growth of modern industry witnessed under british raj but it was only in second half of 19th century where it shows its emotion but industry handicraft industry indian identity in international trade has came to an end due to one policy of the state discrimination and tariffs bhed bhav aur wo bhi taxation policy mein tariff policy mein marks the industrial revolution in britain and transformation in india india became the market for prime product imports and finished good exports india came as a discriminative policy and which was given by the britain and indian primary products export were tariff free and britain placed heavy duties on handicraft industry which have led to price rise in foreign currency and country and so the trade decline automatically marks the influence of low income and low investment indian handicraft industry lots of identity due to the distinct and discriminative tariff policy of the state so lost livelihood for the artisan because disappearance of princely state marks the loss of artisan and talent livelihood because india have the kingdoms empires and their great heritage of art and talent and prior to britain rule this was reality and ultimately due to the introduction of british rule in india they have taken over the kingdoms and princely state jab unhone hum par kabza karna start kiya to handicraft industry ko do tarikon se todne ki koshish ki gayi pehli discriminative tariff policy and second the lost battles of kingdoms empires have taken away their kingdom so the cultural traditional and historical heritage marks a full stop and handicraft industry suppliers came to an end low income generated due to low demand and ultimately less investment and manual work is in presence of you and hereby i am sharing this picture because this manual work marks the competition from the industry of machine made products competition from machine made products leads from the britain side as they were imported at low cost with high and better quality due to the advanced technology britain has this resulted 
in handicraft industry with a challenge and ultimately it faded away from international trade kyunki handicraft industry ke products expensive hote hain because they are manual made they are handmade products so that included the very minute working on it which enhances the expenditure and that charges high and expensive products have low demand in the market outex sell britain products provided the shutdown to enterprises of the local artisan indian tra- traditional cultural and historical heritage lost due to the machine made competition which came due to advanced technology from britain so hereby it marks the end of handicraft no commercial modern industrial base was allowed to come in marking industrial sector introduction because the world famous heritage industry of handicraft in india has just faded away due to the machine made products due to the distinct tariff policies india marks unavailability of sound industrial base under the british rule no commercial modern industry base was allowed to come up otherwise in under british rule second half of 19th century marks a modern industry emergence but it was a bleak growth but new designs and demand have raised and that leads to industrial sector transformation because the western culture came in trend due to the british rule new class emerges this created demand from the product and that was change of design so ultimately indian industry face a sudden crisis because they do not have the direct access of new design as they are traditional and cultural and historical heritage other thing which have marked the introduction of railway because it transformed the growth of market and that market removes the hindrance of transportation jab aap ek jagah se dusri jagah tak ja sakte hain to us jagah ko mark karne ke liye ek nayi market ka expansion ho jata hai so local demand also come down for expensive products as they have the availability of handicraft industry of low britain products so domestic demand also goes down and international trade have less perspective due to the expensive product so indian handicraft industry came to an end पूरा हिंदुस्तान आजादी की सालगिरह मना रहा है अंग्रेजों को भारत छोड़े चौसठ साल हो गए लेकिन आज भी भारत सरकार ब्रिटेन को एक ट्रेन चलाने के लिए रॉयल्टी दे रही है चौंकाने वाली खबर है आज भी एक रेलवे ट्रैक पर ब्रिटेन की एक कंपनी का कब्जा है देश को आजादी मिले चौसठ साल गुजर गए लेकिन अमरावती के अचलपुर से गुजरती शकुंतला एक्सप्रेस आज भी गुलामी की जंजीरों में जकड़ी है आज भी इसे चलाने के लिए रेलवे को एक करोड़ बीस लाख का लगान देना होता है रेल लाइने आज भी ब्रिटिश एक कंपनी के हाथ में आज भी है और उनको हमने देना है हमारे देश ने खाली एक करोड़ बीस लाख यवतमाल से मूर्ति जापुर तक चलने वाली शकुंतला एक्सप्रेस करीब डेढ़ सौ साल पुरानी ट्रेन है शकुंतला एक्सप्रेस करीब एक सौ नवासी किलोमीटर का सफर चार घंटे में तय करती है ब्रिटेन की एक प्राइवेट कंपनी ने इस लाइन को बिछाया था इसका मकसद यवतमाल के खेतों से कपास को मुंबई तक पहुंचाना था जहां से कपास ब्रिटेन की कपड़ा फैक्ट्रियों तक पहुंचा था इस रूट का ना तो भारत सरकार ने विकास करवाया ना ही इस रूट पर किसी तरह की सुविधा मिलती है ये तो अंग्रेजों का राज्य था अंग्रेजों का राज्य तो कब कब चले गया फिर ये पैसा उनको क्यूँ ये भारत सरकार को क्यूँ नहीं मिलता भारत में ब्रिटिश हुकूमत की इस आखिरी निशानी का अब यहाँ के लोग विरोध करने लगे है लोगो की मांग है की भारत सरकार अब ब्रिटेन को इस रूट का लगान देना बंद करे ब्रिटिश सरकार का अभी भी ताबा है ब्रिटिश सरकार ब्रिटिश सरकार के अंतर्गत ये रेल चालू है और जो रेल ब्रिटिश सरकार के अंतर्गत चालू है मैं समझता हूँ भारत अभी तक आजाद हुआ नहीं है और भारत आजाद अगर करना है सबसे पहले ये रेल भारतीय रेलवे में समावेश होना चाहिए इतिहास के लिहाज से बेशक शकुंतला एक्सप्रेस और ये लाइन अहम हो सकती है लेकिन किसी आजाद मुल्क के लिए ये शर्म का प्रतीक है अमरावती ऐसी इंडिया टीवी के लिए माया डोलस की रिपोर्ट Indian great handicraft industry systematic deindustrialization policy described the status of industrial sector during british rule it implies two things decay of world famous traditional handicraft industry and second bleak growth of modern industry just indian excelled and quality work reputation have been faded away due to the british raj and their discriminative policy and disappearance of princely court with competition from market machine made products 
with new pattern of design and ultimately the transportation hindrances were removed from introduction of railway this brought the industrial sector picture so here by we are concluding for today